What's up, guys? Hello, friends. Happy Tuesday. We have uh, another uh, cool week ahead of us. We just got these in the mail. They look nice. So, uh, we're launching these tonight. Um, and let's see what else we're going to do. Uh, we're going to talk about some Sandy Koufax stuff. I'm going to show you guys uh, Frank Thomas, which I don't know actually is now if my next card is after Sandy is going to be Frank or not. Um, there was a little confusion about whether my Sandy would go live this week or it would be Frank Thomas, so I had to get both done. Uh, anyways, I'm going to show you guys that, and I think that's it. There's also some really cool, one really cool thing from mail, actually two really cool things from mail from yesterday that I want to show you guys. Um, first I'll show you this. Okay. So I already showed this, uh, yesterday, Scott, uh, a Kernan, um, Scott Kernan. So I showed you guys this yesterday. I was going from studio to studio today and I shut off all the lights. And when you shut off all the lights, I don't know if I can like show you guys, but <laughs> Anyways, it glows in the dark. The teeth and the eyes both glow in the dark. I thought it was really rad. So I just want to give Scott another shout out for this. Scott also gave several like team bags full of really cool cards that I didn't open all of them on the stream. And I saw the rest of them today and they were amazing. So Scott, thank you so much. Also, I love your art. The purple one I actually hung up over in that corner. I have like a whole wall of art that people have sent in and yours is up there now. Um, but anyways, I really like this and I liked the, um, glow in the dark part, which I didn't know about. Uh, let's see here. Another thing. Uh, so Tony came in today and helped with some stuff. Uh, this is actually exciting on cardart.com. We now launched a new, uh, product, a way of, um, getting card art where people can just choose their favorite team. So we've gotten a lot of requests over the months that we've been doing this. People say, oh, I'm a huge Braves fan. Can I have some Braves card art, this and that? Uh, we've done our best to send as much card art. With Tony has sent tons, hundreds and hundreds of cards um, to fans for free just to kind of generate, get some uh, excitement going about the card art kind of idea. I think that worked. So today at cardart.com, we made it so that for 20 bucks, you can get, a, it's a random player, but it's a player of your favorite team. So if you're a really big Yankees fan, you can get a couple Yankees card art cards uh, for uh, 20 bucks a card. Okay, anyways, Tony came and he brought this. And I'm actually gonna wait and show you the, the gift. I'll read the note first. Uh, let's see here. So this is from Rick Jetton. So Rick had sent uh, one box here and one box to Tony and both the boxes had stuff for both of us. Okay, it says, Blake, Tony, and everyone else. First and foremost, I hope you're doing awesome. I know this is a stupid comment, as I'm sure you all are. No stupid comments. In the box are a couple gifts for Blake and Tony. When you open them up, I'm sure you'll be able to tell uh, what is for who. Um, he has a note to Tony, and he says, Blake, thank you so much for opening up your artistic mind and sharing with all of us. I enjoy watching all of your work, but I've really enjoyed the B206 works. It even inspired me to buy a few probably fake tobacco cards from back in the day. Uh, I'm anxious to see how the rest of the cards turn out and seeing how everything will look when it's all said and done. Appreciate that. Um, okay, he also sent in a couple autos to sign in black and a sace. Uh, we did, we sent those out today. Um, cool. Oh wow, he also included an extra sace. That was really nice as a pay it forward. Um, for the next person that didn't have a say. So that was really cool. So Rick, uh, thank you for the note. And he got a Bob Ross Chia Pet, which is awesome. Uh, it's great, it's my favorite plant. So I'm excited to try, I've actually never had a Chia Pet before. And so I think it's pretty straightforward. I don't know, put the seeds in and water it, I guess. Anyways, I really appreciate it. Um, so I didn't want, because this had been sent yesterday, um, I wanted to get, and we opened up his other box yesterday, 
I wanted to open up this one or just show you guys this today. So we have a fresh slate. Uh, also today, shout out to Matt Costello, by the way, um, the pretty big news podcast episode four, uh, came out today. That is an interview with Matt and Lauren Taylor. Uh, so that's exciting. I have a link to that on my Twitter. I will, before the stream is over, I'll put us, I'll put a comment here in these comments, but shout out to Matt, uh, and Nick actually, cause they were really both working on it for quite some time today is we put a very big dent in the black autographs that had been sent in yesterday and got about half of them done and shipped back out. So we have two more boxes of boxes of the signy stuff. Um, but it was really good. We got, we got out a lot. We probably got out 40 or 50 cards, uh, if I had to guess, um, today, which is awesome. Uh, okay. So let's see here. So last night, yesterday, I showed you guys these, uh, Ichiros. Uh, so I did like a sample of each color and, um, I think that they look really cool. So we have those like that light green, red, is that gold, yellow, dark green, teal. Teal is one of my favorites for this one. It really just um, pops on the card. Uh, and light blue also pops good. Okay, so since we got our Ted Williams cards in the mail today, uh, I went ahead and did the same for Ted. And so I think a lot of these came out very clean. I'm going to show them to you guys. So those, uh, these cards are now available on Blake.art. Uh, we're doing a similar thing to the Ichiro. So it's $100, uh, a card, choose your own color auto. The only difference from last time is last time we took the red card and we had that as part of the choose your own autos. I took it back out and I made it uh, an addition of 100. So it's still not a huge addition and it's still 100 bucks. So that way, if somebody misses, if somebody's like a Ted Williams fan, misses all the choose your own auto colors because it's on like a short timeline, I wanna have something for them to be able to get the red. So uh, that is the difference there, but I will just show you guys, I think that one, I mean the red goes, goes with it really well because there's red on the card, uh, orange, uh, the other thing that we did is we took yellow, which we did on each row, made this that orange instead. I had someone request orange for each row. Unfortunately, it was after I'd already released all the colors. There wasn't really, um, I didn't mean to not do orange, but I didn't. Anyways, we have orange here. We do not have a yellow auto because it would not show up, but I think it looks nice. Uh, let's see here. We have light blue. Uh, I did the one of one gold. So that one is, it's hard to tell, but this, the gold ink, if you guys, if you guys have gotten any gold autos, you know, but it's like a metallic ink. The other ones are like a matte, uh, flat ink. Uh, let's see here. We have our teal. We have purple. We have one of my favorites, pink. I love pink. Uh, we have dark blue. We have dark green, and we have light green, which is kind of hard to see the light green on the yellow, to be honest, but um, you can see it. And uh, I think this is good now, too, that like you guys can see all the colors on the cards the day that they come out. So I don't know. It's hard to pick a favorite. I think that the pink, I really like the pink. Um, I also think that the teal ink, it's just a really like vibrant and opaque teal. So I think that's really cool. Anyways, uh, so those are at Blake.art. Um, and in the uh, description below this video, there's a link straight to the page where you can just choose your own colors. I see Eric put it in there too. Um, yeah, Matthew Burke, teal does look really, it just pops so much. I think part of it is like, I haven't used teal really on any of my cards. And so like, no matter what card it is, it like contrasts really well. Um, yeah, bubblegum pink is cool. Pink does look good on the yellow. I like that. Uh, anyways, so that's going to be fun. Um, that's going to run 
so I'm doing each of those now for two weeks to give people plenty of time. Um, although I do know, you know, most of the people that want them are buying them in the first few days. Um, but we're still having some Ichiros come through. Uh, so if you did like, you know, like any of the Ichiros, you have, what is this? There's the teal there. That looks really cool. Uh, so there's one week left on these. Technically, actually six days left on those. And then there'll be two weeks on these. Except for the reds, which will just keep going. Um, but they're numbered just, they'll stop whenever 100 sell. Uh, da -da. There's also five silvers. I didn't paint a silver. That wasn't intentional. Um, I guess I could do it on this one, but I think the silver is going to look really good as well. Uh, da -da. We are going to do uh, Griffey's probably next week. Um, when uh, the Ichiro's end, I will announce all the Ichiro numbers so you guys will see kind of what the pool is. And then that's when I'll then I'll do the Griffey's. So we'll kind of always be staggering. I'm hoping to kind of get caught up since Tops is playing catch up with the shipping of the cards. I'm hoping to get kind of caught up. Um, so I think we're going to do an auto, one auto a week, I guess. Um, although we might wait a little longer for the dock because there are the dock good and dual autos still available some um let's see i saw mike ask a question so you asked if i had signed if i signed different tips uh i do not i use uh i don't even know what the actual millimeter thickness is but it's the same thickness on the front of all the cards and then on the back of all the cards i used to use a thinner paint pen of the same pen and i switched over to sharpie um because it, sharpies keep a sharper tip and it's easier to write the addition numbers with a sharpie and I have Sharpies in every color uh, that I was doing autos with um, in the past. On the colored autos, actually, though, for what was it, Willie Mays, I did use a thinner Posca on the back. Um, sometimes you will see, see if I can find a good example. So here, these are the same size thickness pens, but this one looks a little thinner than this. Uh, it's part of it is that like the more you use a pen, the the tip gets a little bit flatter, uh, which tends to make a little bit thicker um, of a line. And so, for example, like a gold, I only sign one of each card. I've probably only signed 10 times uh, with that pen um, versus like reds. I go through a red pen every single uh, player. Um, so there is a little bit of variance, but uh, I don't know, kind of impossible to avoid, I guess, unless I just signed like a couple cards with a pen and then started using a new pen. Um, James, haven't gotten more than one card in the hundreds and email tops about it. Man, we are getting, I mean, this is, this is card 189. So I don't know if you're ordering every one, but that's, uh, yeah, it's been, it's been a lot of cards have come since the trout, which was card 100. Uh, wow. Notification for 198. That is great. Um, yeah, I am still missing some random, like, couple in the 170s, like two cards I'm missing. And I order everything, so uh, I should also follow up. But I don't know. I know. I've noticed sometimes that processing, like, it'll still show as processing on the top site. So in that case, I'm not usually that worried about it, unless it's shown as, like, shipped and delivered. Um, that's when I might reach out to Tops. Uh, let's see here. So tomorrow is Sandy Koufax. And I'm very excited because I'm actually launching with Ben Baller, who's um, Bob Gibson is awesome. Really like it. It's bright color, funky vibes. Uh, I feel like the bling is not overstated. It's just it's really it's a really nice looking card. I think that um, I think he put it on Twitter already. I'm not 100 percent sure. He texted me and said he was going to leak it tonight. I told him I would also post my Sandy tonight. I posted it on Blowout. And. Um, Let's see, where's my phone? I can actually show it to you guys on my phone because I put it away already. Oh, cool. Somebody or just ordered three uh, Choose Your Own Team card arcs. Um, ba -ba -ba. Uh, Tess, I see your text. Tess asked a question about how does someone sign up for the email list. So there was a sign-up form. Uh, it's actually straight through MailChimp. So... I could send you a link, Tess. Um, 
or I could probably put it in the live stream thing. Uh, if I go to MailChimp, let's see here. I'll try and do it real fast. Sign in. Let's see if uh, it remembers here. Okay, so if I go to... Okay, so Tess, if you're watching, you go to audience, then you click sign up forms. Um, and then, uh, how do we do that? Form builder, is it just that? Let's see. Sign up form. Yes, okay. That's great, that stuff's hidden. Okay, sign up form URL. I'm gonna put this into the comments on YouTube. Bam. It's like a shortened URL, eepurl.com slash whatever. So that that I just put in the um, comments on YouTube is how you sign up for uh, the email list, which is where I am uh, basically launching every auto new prints like B2. This email tonight was about B206 as well as about the Ted Williams uh, auto launch. So I'm trying to start using email more. Um, uh, Mike Robel, yes, we did announce the dual autos with Ben Baller. Uh, I don't know the, uh, the names offhand, um, but I did, and I'm sorry you were not one of them. I actually, and I do think it's good. Um, Tess ran that, uh, the spreadsheet, and giving everyone all their entries, and um, picked out winners. And I recognize a lot of people on that list, obviously. I mean, I love you guys, your team hot plate. You're always here. You're always supporting. I appreciate that very much. Um, but the two people that won uh, were both names that I did not recognize from uh, anything. I don't think that they've been on streams. I don't think that they've bought autos. Um, and I think that that's good. Um, obviously, I want to reward all you guys that are really loyal and always here and always supportive. Um, and obviously, because you're here so often, you get chances to win all kinds of stuff because we try and do a lot of giveaways. Um, but it's also important to me that I continue to grow my business and grow my audience and platform and bring in more friends for us to hang out with. And so I do think, um, I do think that, uh, it's good, you know, that it was some new people. Yes. Congrats to them. It's pretty awesome. Um, let's see. Got your notifications on Ted Williams. Nice. That's awesome. Roman. Um, last week. Okay. Tess had it. Okay. Barbara Bohan and Adam Dorn, uh, were the two winners. Uh, and so I know that Tess also reached out to them because when you fill out the form, you have your email address and you put in all your info. We just had to reach out and, um, uh, get their, uh, confirm or whatever their information so we can send them the cards. Uh, let's see here. I think Ben Baller also did his winners. Um, I believe that he announced that on Twitter, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, let's see what else. Um, oh, yeah, I was going to show you guys my Sandy Koufax card before I uh, saw my text from Tess. Uh, uh, here it is. Okay, so I'm just, so you guys have seen uh, the, the painting which was just like the yellow background of the face. You didn't see afterwards where I put on his name and stuff. So this is, um, that's the card. And so I think it's pretty cool. Um, the dots uh, are kind of uh, Lichtenstein uh, inspired. And that was also, again, because of trying to reach new audiences and uh, expand Team Hot Plates. I went on Reddit this week or last week and just asked them, uh, said I was an artist for Tops 2020. There were a couple people on Reddit that said, that said, oh my gosh, I love your streams, um, which is awesome. Um, anyways, so they suggested the uh, Lichtenstein style pop art. So I kind of, uh, I'd say kind of simplified um, from my typical stencil style, but then also did the dots, did multiple, more than just two layers than I usually do. So in that sense, it was more complex. And I, and I also painted it uh, four times. I kept tweaking tiny little things and I repainted it. That's also something I haven't done a ton. I'll usually like do two variations in tandem and just kind of do colors. This was like making tweaks. And one of these days I'll show you, but like on certain parts of his face and the way that I colored it. Uh, and then at the bottom, the left arm of God um, is, I guess, a nickname of his as well as a book about him. And uh, someone suggested that that be put on the card because uh, no other artist has done it. 
and I always love to do stuff that no other artist has done. So that's how the left arm of God got on there. Thank you, Reddit. Especially thank you, you Reddit people who watch the streams. Um, okay, and then we have, uh, I'll show you the Frank Thomas. And I did do two of these too, same thing. Did it once. Uh, let me, where's the other one? One second. Okay. Also, shout out Jake Shornick. Awesome uh, t-shirt. Gift from Mail Monday yesterday. Um, I will also, you know what? I will show you guys, before I even get into the Frank Thomases, I'm going to show you guys the four Sandys, because no one has seen all of those. I think you guys might have seen uh, one or two of them. So I will show you guys these in order that I painted them and explain to you kind of the changes I made in the mindset and the, the thought behind it. Okay, so here was the first one. So this was, let's see here, first one that I did. So I did the skin layer, and it's kind of hard to see, but you can see like the checkers a lot, which sometimes you can see in my work I think is cool. Uh, because I had, so on the first go, since I had these dots, which is in part of it, it's kind of like to, it's supposed to darken it up a little bit. I thought that having the squares plus the circles was like too much. So I wanted to redo that. I also wanted to fix the brim up here so that I had this full of green, uh, sorry, full of, yes, green. Um, I wanted to pull a little bit more detail out of the hat. What I really like about this, I like kind of this, the simple lines. And also when I look at his ears, I didn't love this ear. This one I actually, I really liked. Um, I just thought it looks like an ear, basically. <laughs> uh, so there were parts that I knew that I wanted to come back. And so I went back to the drawing board completely and I started cutting the stencil again uh, from scratch, but very similarly. And the second one that I did is actually, I get a little mark on there. Uh, is the one that that is going live. This ended up being my favorite one. Um, so again, fix this ear, um, fix this a little bit more, and this tie. I still had a little bit of beige, which I fixed in Photoshop. Uh, I made the B a little bit bolder, bigger outline, a little more detail on the hat, and then I changed the coloring a little bit so that. Oh, sorry, I keep moving them in front of the mic. Maybe I'll just move this out of the way. Uh, so I changed the coloring to make it a little darker skin tones um, and also having these layers pop out a little bit more by really layering a third color into the background. Um, and this is the one that ended up being my favorite. However, at the time, I decided to keep trying. Uh, so I did uh, this one, getting rid of the kind of the middle layers and just making it like more flat, um, which I, I like, I think is cool. Andy, I think, said this one was his favorite one. Um, also in the shape of the ears, Matt didn't really like, there was like this little, he thought it looked like a fang, <laughs> but I got rid of that to see if I liked it better. Turns out I didn't. Um, but I thought it was cool. And then lastly, I wanted one where it was kind of a little messier cause I thought the clean look was cool, but like a lot of my stuff is, I like kind of the messy and randomness. So I did one where I kind of, uh, spray painted, I didn't like how like his face was so white, this part was dark. I kind of wish I got darker there, but I just wanted to see what it would look like to kind of blend the simplicity and the flat image with a little bit of like graffiti and street art kind of textures. And then with those four, then I went back to the second one and said, no, this is, this is my favorite one. And then the tiny things like that little stripe on his hat, I just decided that I would, um, uh, oh, what to say, uh, fix in Photoshop. That's what I was going for. Uh, let's see. Okay, so now we have Frank Thomas. So again, uh, from Tops, I was um, a little bit unsure. Uh, if Tops was a little unsure if they were going to run my Sandy card this week or push it to a future release date. So they wanted me to have Frank Thomas ready. 
Uh, I basically got the painting ready. I haven't done all the photoshopping yet, um, but then they heard they said, okay, we actually we are gonna run with the um, Sandy Koufax on Wednesday. So let's see here, which one did I do first? Okay, so here's the first one that I did. Uh, if you'll notice from the original card, it's like way zoomed in on his face. Um, I just thought it was kind of an awkward position, especially where like he's reaching basically out of the card to tack someone out. And so I wanted to do something different. So this was my first take. Um, there were definitely some things that I thought I could fix. Number one, I wanted the hat to be black and not dark gray. The way I cut the stencil, I kind of had to do it dark gray. This white, I think is too distracting. I, I did want like some highlights on his face, but I wanted to mute that a little bit and make it closer to the skin color. Uh, down here, there's just, there were just a little bit where I wanted the lines to cut differently with like the collar. Um, so I recut those. So I went back to the drawing board again. Um, I recut the black layer, the white layer. Uh, I guess just the black and the white layer. Cause I already had like kind of a third layer that was just his face where I painted the brown. So I went back to the drawing board and I came up with this one. So it is close, uh, but We've got the black hat with just a little bit of highlights muted here, which I think is, which I think worked really well. Uh, and then down here, just like I said, I kind of, I cleaned up some of these lines, um, which I think make it, makes it a little bit less, uh, uh, a little less distracting. Uh, let's see here. There we go. So that was kind of the evolution. So now um, I photographed this one already. Like I said, I have not photoshopped it, but I will, um, I will be photoshopping it and on that one I am going to be uh, using oh, I wish I had the uh, I already put back the reference card that Frank Thomas has such a cool border of kind of dot fading dots so the reason that I did the solid background on the last two well Sandy I just thought with the kind of the Liechtenstein style was kind of that that was the idea with this one I am gonna have a border around it that will be like the original border I haven't decided if I'm going to leave the uh, White Sox first draft pick onto the card. Um, I don't know. But uh, and then we'll do uh, the nameplate. The blue nameplate will have no name, uh, like the no name on front. Uh, famous Frank Thomas card, uh, which was very sh super short printed. It was an error. And uh, I will be doing that. I know that I think it was Keith Shore already did it. I was hoping I'd be the first. Um, Moose Knoll, good, uh, good point about art class. I actually think I'm going to, I want to start putting some time into that. What I have to do first is I want to get ahead, like three or four cards ahead with tops. So I have, um, my Cal Ripken, I paint, I cut the white layer so far. I need to cut the black layer. And that's all I have beyond the Frank Thomas. So, I mean, I still have a lot, you know, George Brett. I have my Jeter. Um, I have my, uh, bum, bum. yeah, I still have a lot. Uh, yes, Mike, will I sign my name on the no name plate? Uh, I'm going to, ex I'm going to experiment with that. Absolutely. Um, yeah, I think the black hat is better. Uh, yeah, so that's um, that's pretty much it. It's been fun. Uh, also, I see uh, Mike asked me about the background. Like I mentioned, because the border is going to be really busy, I didn't think I wanted like the splatter stuff. However, I have photos of just like splatter backgrounds in different colors. Um, so in Photoshop, I will experiment with uh, potentially doing like a kind of a splattery backgrounds like I did on some early cards. Uh, I'm also uh, kind of starting to come up with a little bit of styling how when I display my 20 cards uh, for myself, I kind of I'm a, I have an idea already of where they're going to sit. Um, and so when I'm making new cards and choosing colors at this point, um, I'm choosing things that will have some type of balance. So, um, yeah, you'll see. As the set comes together, I will start to share more of like the map of how I'm, I'm planning to do it. Um, I do think, uh, you know, some of yeah, the spatula background um, is cool. 
uh, and I like it on a lot of my cards. But like I said, like there's so there's some that are spatula. There's some that have like a border, like the Van Baller one, like the Mark McGuire one, like the Ichiro card. And so I'm kind of thinking about where those are all going to sit in relation to each other. Um, anyways, so yes, playing with the background a little bit. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, this is going to be a very fun project. Um, I am painting a pair of shoes. I'll go get my test shoes for you guys. There is a very famous Australian bowler named Jason Belmonte. Jason Belmonte. Um, sponsored by a shoe company called Dexter. And these are uh, bowling shoes that I'm going to be painting for him. So I have, um, I have three pairs of these. So that is good that I have a couple test pairs. Uh, he wants gold incorporated. And he wants it to look awesome. And I'm going to make it look awesome. So... I was hoping to start these last week, uh, over the weekend, and I could not because I did not have uh, one specific ingredient, a leather prepper and degreaser that I needed to be able to get off all of these kind of oils and uh, leather conditioner basically that they put on these nice shoes. So I didn't have that, so I couldn't start yet, but now I've had that. So tonight after the stream, Andy and I, I think are gonna be working on shoes. He's doing a pair of like Nike Dunks. I'm gonna be eventually working on these. But to start, I'm going to be working on these Reeboks. And uh, when my friend Maxon was here over the weekend, uh, he helped me start taping these, which was nice of him to help me prep. Um, so now I have to, unfortunately, I wish that these were like the same really nice leather so I could like see how the paint sticks to it. But I'm still just going to do a practice run on this. Uh, I have painted a few pairs of shoes before, but every time I've done it, it was just for myself and it was just kind of experimental and I didn't really care. I wasn't really, uh, I was Bob Ross in it. Happy accidents everywhere is not a big deal. Uh, on these shoes for him, uh, I have an idea in my mind and I want to execute um, as best I can. So I'm going to practice on this shoe uh, and then I'll eventually take it to the Dexter shoes and knock those out. That is due I think it's due like in two weeks um, or less. So I got to definitely um, do that this week. Uh, yes, Grant, he is the he's the best bowler in the world, which is awesome. Um, yeah, I'm very excited uh, to work with him. And that connection um, came uh, through, a, through a fan from, that I met through YouTube, um, Jim Callahan, who also sends ridiculous gifts. Uh, Jim is one of the most generous, uh, awesome dudes that I know. And he's a, he's a bowling coach and that's how he knows Jason. And he, he like has a bunch of really cool motivational content that he will like send his guys that he's working with. And so he sends me videos all the time of, you know, getting fired up and working hard and making your dreams come true. So Jim, thank you for the connection. Very excited. Jason seems like such a good dude. Very excited to work with him. Um, Andre asks, when is Card Art Series 2 dropping? Uh, we are right now, our target is Monday, a week from yesterday. Tony was here today, we are working on it. Um, and we've also started doing the TTM stuff where you can mail in your card and pay to get have me paint on it. Uh, those get prioritized basically above uh, just a general series that hasn't, you know, somebody hasn't paid us for yet. So we always do the TTM stuff first. As soon as it comes in, we try and turn it around quickly. Um, but yes, Card Art Series 2, the goal is to drop on Monday. It's going to be, um, we're going to do more cards than last time. Last time we did about 50 cards. I think this time we're doing about 70 cards. Uh, we're going to try and keep it still like very friendly price points, um, having some uh, sub $100 cards uh, as well as a couple over 100 for some super studs. Um, We've already picked out the cards and I've started painting on them and they're looking very cool. I know Tony, I think has sent a couple pictures, but um, they're gonna look cool. And so I'm gonna continue painting them this week. They're actually on this desk right there. 
Uh, let's see here. Uh, Mike, I don't really know what link Jim Callahan would want me uh, to put. So he actually he does watch these streams, but he's had issues being able to comment. And I don't know if it's because he's not logged in, um, but he is always watching. Um, we usually communicate over text. So I will ask him tomorrow and I will give him, um, uh, I'll let him know if you want to connect with him that you're into bowling and whatnot. Um, good night, Tim. Have a great night. Um, awesome. Just Jeff got a great package from Matt. Uh, well, that's cool. A re uh, warm up with a piece of rebar. That's kind of cool. Um, yes, exactly. Jason Belmonte was known for his gold bowling shoes. Uh, yes, so exactly. So he's having me paint these ones gold, and it's going to be just kind of a cool pattern on it. Um, he did uh, he did one pair of shoes with another artist, and I guess I think that the artist may, maybe used like spray paint or the wrong type of material. So like as soon as Jason wore them, they cracked. Um, really easy to let hap like to have that happen with um, painted customized shoes. And from the research that I've done, it's really all about the prep work. And so it's using the deglazer and degreaser. Uh, it's really sanding the shoes actually quite a bit, uh, more than I think most people would know to do. So glad that I have um, three pairs to try. And obviously, as soon as those start shaping up, I will be sharing progress. I'm gonna be filming a lot of video content around that and, and publish a separate video. It's actually another thing I've thought about doing is we film so much with this that uh and i've just been banking this footage i think i'm gonna start doing kind of um and i'll probably do the first couple myself and then maybe if i can find someone that wants to help with some editing but uh start doing like edited vlog style videos uh in addition to these live streams uh, i might put who knows maybe one a week or something that'll be a little bit more like produced and you'll get to see some of the day-to-day -day stuff that happens that um you guys don't get to see on the stream because it's not like normal business hours um, oh, let's see here. Yeah, so he is, um, uh, Jason Belmonte is going to wear it for, is it PGA, uh, PGA Tour Bowling? Is it PGA or PBA? PBA. That makes sense. So 2020 PBA, uh, let's see here. So he's got one, is that March, uh, is that that? Um, it's something that's coming up soon. I need to get it to him, before, it's before the end of the month. So he's gonna rock it on, on TV and stuff, which is awesome. Um, awesome, PBA, yeah. Anyways, it's gonna be really cool. So that's pretty much what's up in my life. Um, Speaking of that, I'm pretty much going to wrap up the stream and now and go work on these shoes. Um, I know Andy and Matt are in the other room. They're watching the uh, game. Is it game seven or is it game one? Whichever, whichever game is on now, uh, they're watching basketball. Maybe I'll go catch the end of the game with them. Um, but don't forget, um, well, Matthew, thank you. Matthew asked how I'm doing in general. Uh, I'm good. I think... Um, a little bit of a grind right now. Uh, I'm excited, obviously, like I get to live my dream and uh, I'm super grateful to do what I do. I think uh, a lot of it, a lot of the grind is, is uh, stuff that I you know, impose upon myself. I've got a lot of uh, big goals and dreams and to do that, uh, I have a lot that I wanna finish on a daily, weekly, and monthly basis. So uh, I've been trying to get a lot of sleep, I'm trying to get on a little more normal sleep schedule uh, the last, I think the last week or two has been better. Um, I was staying up pretty late pretty often, uh, which is fine because I still sleep in. I don't have anything in the morning, and I, I will get my seven or eight hours of sleep every single morning, every night, no matter what. Um, but it's tough if I'm staying up till four or five in the morning and I'm not starting the next day till like noon. Um, it can be hard to get into a rhythm. So I'm trying to change that up. Um, and yeah, got some, uh, got some exciting stuff to work on. So I appreciate that question. And overall, I'm good and very lucky and grateful and healthy and, um, you know, can't really ask for more. Uh, yeah. All right, guys. Well, that's so, that's um, pretty much it. Uh, I will 
Uh, keep you guys posted on the shoes. I'll keep you guys posted on those autos. Um, the Griffey auto, or not the Griffey, the Etro autos have six days left. Um, I can't tell you guys how much you know they've sold, but just like the last time, I think you guys are going to be very happy with the addition numbers there, and I expect to see the same thing on the TED. Um, you know, on one hand, I would like to sell as many cards as I can um, and capitalize on this situation, but I would rather my cards be going to people who love them. They're getting a color they like. You know, they're paying a pretty, for autos, you know, I don't think there's any other artists that are doing $100 autos. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm not really sure. Um, but uh, yeah, so keep an eye out for those uh, numbers next week. Keep an eye out for Sandy Kovacs tomorrow. That's going to be exciting. Um, yeah, I'll be definitely uh, talking about that. I know that Ben Baller is dropping with me, which is great. And uh, that's his Bob Gibson. Uh, so maybe I'll try and get Ben Baller on in the next couple days. Um, I hadn't thought about I Literally, as we were like in my head, I'm like, oh, yeah, that would be smart to have him on. So maybe I'll do that, which would be cool. He's not been on a stream yet. Uh, all right. Well, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much. I hope that you um, all stay healthy and stay awesome.